Greetings of peace, everyone. It is 5.30 a.m. at the Ritz-Carlton in Abu Dhabi. And as you can see in the background, there is the Grand Zayed Mosque, which is stunning. And any minute now, the Adhan is going to play. So for those who may not be familiar, the Adhan happens five times a day and it welcomes Muslims um, to go pray and reminds them to go pray. And it's something that in the country that I was born in, in the United States, we really don't get to see a lot of. And we don't get to really hear it. But when you kind of travel to a Muslim majority country and you hear it, it's really serene and it's beautiful. It's a reminder that, you know, we have a, a duty to give thanks to our Creator, the Almighty, who sustains us and gives us life and provides us with sustenance. So, it's going to happen at any moment here. Usually about, I thought it was five minutes before the actual prayer, which is at uh, roughly five. 35, but you can see in the background that the masjid is just beautiful. Sorry, it's a bit shaky there. And I was able to visit it the other day, and yeah, it was just, it reminded me of St. Peter's church in Rome, which is the, uh, the seat, essentially, of um, Pope Francis. And Pope Francis was actually here in the UAE um, to sign the document of human fraternity, which is a, you know, a major, major document that is looking to build stronger bridges between uh, Christians and Muslims, but also kind of people of all walks of life, all people of conscience, all believers, whatever it may be, whether you happen to be Jewish or Christian or Muslim. The forum that I'm at consists primarily of uh, Jewish, Christian, and Muslim leaders, but there have also been um, leaders of other religious traditions. For instance, there was a, a Sikh here yesterday, and he gave an impassioned speech about the importance of our of our common humanity so it's been a, it's been an amazing experience here um, we're about to listen to the adham which is the muslim call to prayer which happens five times per day any minute now it's gonna come off the person who calls muslims to prayer is the muezzin and the first muezzin was Bilal ibn Rabah. so if you follow this page you'll know that Bilal is someone that I speak about um, quite often because Muhammad, the prophet of Islam, had uh, a special relationship with Bilal, who happened to be a, uh, an African man, um, a slave from Abyssinia, and Muhammad elevated him to the status of the Muezzin, which was a, a cherished position in the early Muslim community, or Ummah. And I use the relationship that Muhammad had with Bilal ibn Rabah to show how Muhammad took a stance of anti-racism, which is different from non-racism. Non-racism is, is passive. It's, uh, it's a good thing to be non-racist, but you know, if we were to ask a question to a group of people, how many people are anti-racist? There's a difference there. Anti-racist suggests that you're actively taking measures to tackle racism in its midst. So, Bilal was the first muezzin, the first person to call Muslims to prayer. There it is. Listen. I'm 
serene and beautiful. A nice way and a nice reminder to start another day. God bless.